spring is a good season for doing progress on workshop projects. The frame of the CNC lathe is getting a little paint job today. No one of my viewers would guess the color for sure. In meantime, I made some drawers, but there's something more important. Adjustable M12 machine feet and screws for connecting both frames. But these sounds, they scare me. They scare most of the DIY home machinists. I decided to give a go to gravel and sand mix fill method to get rid of that problem. It's the same mix I used for my spindle adapter fill. It's dried during last holidays. Dry as hell. The main frame is filled, the same with the base frame. Doing that I added about 50 kg of vibration damping mass. That's much better. Sounds like concrete to me, which is a good sign in my opinion. Now let's go back in time a little. This is some footage of making the caps to close the tubes. I used my diode laser to mark the cutting edges. Now cutting the shape on my homemade bandsaw. Time I added some threaded steel pieces to one side of the steel plates, and there goes the mounting and welding process. Everything was done before milling the frame. Now the seals. For that purpose I use my 3D printer and TPU material.
This looks cool. But let's go back to our timeline. The next thing I'll need are the base frame plugs. The 3D printer serves for such easy, non-heavy loaded parts really well. According to our 3D CAD model made in ZW3D, we are able to assemble everything on its place step by step. These all are parts we made in prior episodes. If you didn't see them, I encourage you to take a look at them. After putting the heavy mainframe on the base frame, I could connect both with M12 screws. We are ready to start putting together the Z-axis and the rest of the stuff. If that sounds interesting to you, I encourage you to subscribe, like and leave a comment below. You, the viewers, are the reason that things keep going on here. Thanks for watching.